Good morning, folks. We're starting with the newest sequence from NASA's Scientific Visualization Studio. The full volume rendered atmospheric model is linked for you below. We've got a beautiful CME to diagnose later in the video, and don't forget that the Perseid meteor shower peaks tonight and will still be a show for a few more nights. The top news is the state of the climate report for the U.S. last month. Crops suffering due to cold in one part of the country, due to drought in another, while yet others see record heat or record rainfall. Climate change should be called climate extremes. Let's take a look at the average, max, and minimum temperatures rating for the month of July. Records going both ways, but more interesting than the temperature records is the fact that the precipitation measurements don't seem to reveal the drought out west. But looking back over 2014 in total, we see much of that same, hot and cold, but the precipitation map shows here how the west is still struggling in drought. We're looking at the stratospheric wind layer at the moment, southern polar vortex beginning to break and in another few weeks it will shift back to being much more pronounced in the northern hemisphere. Remember that semi-annual shift. Julio and Genevieve just hanging out. Coming over to the eastern Pacific, we have a tropical formation south of Mexico. Also happens to be next to the largest earthquake of the day. This earth spot connection is so simple. It will luckily miss land for the most part. Australia and New Zealand have fair weather, so we're right to Europe, with Captain Hook in the sky here twirling into the North Atlantic low, but only after making its way over a huge swath of the continent. Same east and west story here. Heed your local warnings and prepare for those flash floods in the southwest. Hopefully the northwest won't see any tornadoes. Solar wind readings remain variable the last day, with a secondary speed peak just before the 12th ended. This ended up causing a bit more instability in the geomagnetic system, but nothing major. The solar flaring remains dismal. That's a broken record continuing on path to grand minimum. Sunspots aren't helping much, decaying departures to the right while the menacing looking incomer to the left is actually magnetically separated. Might have a touch of gamma development, but not really and she's calm along with the incoming grouping down south watch for that one to crest today but back to that eruption behind the limb the question is why did it look like this well it was actually a triple eruption a piece of a filament or a flare driven cme burst up through the corona releasing the magnetic loops those umbral fields out ahead of it and perhaps of in its wake as well since this is all electrically driven they corkscrew outward and around each other the helical form is visible, a CME within a CME. Current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.